So, students, before we start the lesson, I want all of us to pray together. Please be done, let me pray. Okay, thank you, Yana. Students, before I start the lesson, I want to check your attendance as well as your preparation. Is there anyone else today? No. And how about your book? Do you bring it? Yes. And your dictionary? Yes. Okay, great, students. Students, I have a question for you. Do you know that next week is Galunas and Kuningas Day? Yes. yes. So, when you think about Galunas and Kuningas Day, what are the things that comes out in your mind? Food. Food. I'm sorry? Food. Yeah. Food. Do you think about holiday? Yes. 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 Sure. I believe all of you will think about holiday when you hear about Galunas and Kuningas Day, right? Yes. And do you think it is around holiday? Two weeks, yes, it is a long holiday. And we, when we talk about holiday, there are several things that we will do. Can anyone mention? Death? This is in my friend's house. Okay, this is in your grandma house. Great. Grandma's <coughs> house. Another one? How about you, Go to the beach. Go to the beach. Going to the beach. Okay, great. Well, actually, this is the kind of activities that you will do when you have a holiday, right? Yeah. And talking about holiday, I have a story about myself. So, when I was in senior high school, I went to town a lot with my friends in order to do choral party. So, at 7 o'clock, we already prepared ourselves to go to the Tanaha Temple. And it took about 3 hours to get there. At 11 o'clock, we arrived in Tanaha. So the things that we do there, we watch a beautiful temple as well as a beautiful scenery there. Around 5 o'clock, we went back to our home. Even though it was short holiday, I really enjoyed my holiday. So, from my story, can you guess what kind of story it is? It is narrative or descriptive or any other? What do you think, Greg? Right? Why do you think so? Because we care about what is in the Yes, that's why. Give a plus to Indra. Recount So recount text basically is about a story that happened in the past and you have to tell it in order to give some information to your friends or to give some entertainment, right? And actually here, my expectation for you students, I want you to be able to catch the meaning of the story about recount text as well as you be able to make Yeah. Okay, now I have a an example of a recompense. Please do pay attention. So, can anyone see it? Yes. Yeah. Aranga, can you see it? Yes. Would you mind to read the first sentence with me? When I was in second grade of senior high school, my friends and I visited some tourism some places, some places in Wow. Okay, thank you. Julia, say your title, please. We were there for three days. I had my I had many impressive experiences during the vacation. Actually, there's two sentences, right? Oh, yes. Okay, thank you. It's okay. And then we move to the second paragraph. Karina, please. On the birthday, we visited Little Pony. Little Pony. Yes, that's right. And how about you, Sami Dream? We saw the Sunday, please. Bye. Okay. And how about you, Jaya? Oh, we met for many tourists there. And yeah, please speak up. 
Okay, great. And we move on to the third paragraph. Julie. On the second day, we enjoyed the day on my dreams lunch. And yeah, we did. We did. I'm sorry. Yeah. You get so many water spots and just put it on board. You have skill, they go, and etc. Okay, so we still may need to get this thing out of the box. And back again to some YouTube, please. Please go ahead. And seabirds. Seabirds. And yeah, okay. Okay, next, do that In the afternoon, we went to the beach to see the, the amazing sunset and we went to the beach. Okay, move on to the next paragraph. We publish. The last day we spent on the party is seven. Okay, hola. We could enter the green and shade forest. By you? There were so many monkeys. There were so many monkeys. There were so many monkeys. It's already right? There were so many There were so many monkeys. 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 There were could be. Yeah. In that yes. We make a cooperation with And by you please. Okay. We went to Sarawati in the back for the And by you please. That was. That was my love with time. I built some, I built some body, insert, and something. Okay, and the last paragraph, we got it. Even though my day was hard, but I still enjoy my time with this place. Okay, thank you. Now, I have several questions related to this recount text. The first one is, with whom the writer spent the holiday? Can anyone mention? With whom? Jaya, please. With his friends. With his friends. Anyone agree? Yeah. Okay, that's right. And how many days did the writer have the vacation? In that? Two days. Two days? Anyone agree? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good, in that. Next is what they did what did they do in the first day? Anyone? Raya? <laughs> I'm sorry, speak up. <laughs> okay, anyone? Yeah. Great. Next is Susanya. And what happened in second? Uh, enjoy music and shady forest. Okay. And the last is, what do you think about the feeling of the writer in the story? <coughs> is it happy, sad, angry? Happy. Yeah, yeah, happy. Yeah. happy. Why is it happy? Can anyone tell me why it's happy? Because he yeah, because, uh, still enjoy the time when Okay, that's great. Give a thumbs to Jaya. Okay, do you have any questions so far related to this story? In the back phone. J. 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 Pass. Okay, J. Tense is apa yang dipakai? J. Tense is apa yang dipakai? Tense is apa yang dipakai? Tense is apa yang dipakai? No? Okay, do you answer this? I like to ask what is the dance that is used in I'm sorry? What is the dance that is used Okay, that's a great question. What kind of tenses? What kind of tense we use in this story? Thank you for the question, Juliette. So, as you can see, if you pay attention closely, then you will see that actually in this story the tense is used is past tense. So past tense means that you use verb 2. For example, go, the verb 2 is when. And enjoy, the verb 2 is enjoy. And spend, the verb 2 is spend. Just need to change it, spend, 
This is the full one. Change it into span. Okay. So far, you understand? Yeah. Okay, great. Other questions? Okay, good luck. Okay, that's a quick question too. What is the general structure of this text, of this story? Can anyone mention? Do you know? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, let me mention. So, there are three general structures in this text. The first one is called orientation. If you want to take a look, please do it. And the second one is command. The last one is reorientation. Okay? Can you see it? Orientation, events, and reorientation. That's a good question. Now it's time for me to explain more about this three genetic structure. Yes. So basically, orientation is about introduction of the story. Okay, keep that, keep that in your mind. So here, in this story, orientation belongs to the first paragraph because it is the introduction of the story. So in orientation, you can talk about something like when the story happened, what happened in the story, where did you go, why did you go there. So here you can see, when I was in the second grade, it belongs to when, right? And what happened? Visited some tourism places. That's what. Where? In Bali. And why? To have holiday, right? So here, in orientation, you can talk about that one. And we move on to events. So, what do you think about events? What do you think? Which one is events in this story? Okay, why only Julia and Okay, yeah. Paragraph. Okay, do you agree with Yeah. Yes. Why do you agree? Julian, why do you agree with Yeah? Because the writer states the events on the same time and form time. Okay, that's a very simple answer. Let me explain why it should be on the second, third, and fourth. We call it as events because event simply move on to the second day. After the second day, it's not possible. It's not possible to say like on the first day again. We have to move on to the third day or on the last day. So that's why it is called. It is called event. Okay, you got it. You understand? Okay, great. And then we move on to the last one, reorientation. So in the story, we have an introduction. Can you guess? From my clue, we have introduction. So it means that we should have conclusion. Yeah. yeah, that's great. Conclusion or you close the story by the end of something. Like conclusion as well as, as well as your film. So in this story, you can see that last paragraph belongs to reorientation. Why? Because anyone? You know what do you think? Why it is reorientation? I'm sorry? Because it's just the... All of the story. Yeah, that's great. Here, as you can see, even though my, my holiday was short, why it is called short? Because only three days. So the writer concluded that three days was were very short. And also, he or she put the feeling of his or hers. I enjoy my time. So it belongs to the feeling of the right. Okay, do you understand?